it was just another day i was working in a usg opd in my hospital and a child was brought for ultrasound by his father the child had a history of fall he was playing in the garden he had an impact you know he had some injury and bruise over the left side of the abdomen the child was uh, slightly uncomfortable so i took him for an ultrasound on a priority basis i just kept my probe on his abdomen i realized something was seriously wrong i could see some fluid in the abdomen i stopped my ultrasound took the child up you know in my arms rushed to the emergency room we started pushing fluids rapidly by this time the child had already started becoming drowsy he was getting into hypotension the you know blood pressure we could get at that point was around 100 by 60 i quickly called up the surgeon by that time the portable ultrasound equipment was there i could complete a fast study i saw that the child had significant hemoperitoneum at least around 1 liter or so there was a lesion in the spleen this could be a splenic contusion or laceration the child was operated in less than 30 to 40 minutes that he came to the hospital there was indeed around 1.5 liters of hemoperitoneum on the operation table he had a splenic laceration the spleen had to be removed but the child recovered very well believe me at the time of discharge his father came and met me the words of gratitude that his father said to me at that day you know i still remember it today and that is something that i'll cherish as the greatest gift that i have ever received till date in my entire life remember what you learn in your classes what we teach you about say fast or hemoperitoneum or this sign or that sign i want you to realize that it has to do with actual lives in practice you are dealing with human beings you are dealing with life and death situations like this the boron compound is given intravenously this boron compound is selectively taken up by the brain cancer cells that is the organ affinity of this particular compound now once it is taken up by the tumor cells then this tumor is irradiated from outside by using a neutron beam what happens when a neutron beam you know irradiates such a cell which has taken up this boron compound when this neutron beam irradiates this particular cell there is a boron compound inside this boron compound disintegrates into lithium which is stable and in doing so it emits alpha particles alpha particles have very less penetrating power isn't it so this tumor cell is going to be exposed from the center surrounding normal body cells or normal brain cells will not be exposed thus irradiating the tumor from within normal brain cells surrounding it are not going to be exposed